the fuck going on with y'all, man? Welcome back to another episode of Game of Thrones. Uh, before I get to the reaction, though, make sure you guys look at the links down below in the description. There you can find my Twitch channel where I live stream, my second YouTube channel where I put highlights on my Twitch channel, my Patreon where I'm 10 episodes ahead on everything that I'm watching, uh, my Discord, come on in and join the community, and of course, my Twitter. Everything in Wolf Reacts. That is, that is. Alright, so. Last episode on Game of Thrones. Um, I believe the thing that stuck out the most was... Dumbass Theon Greyjoy. Um, I believe he burned Bran and Rickon alive. Like it sounds so wrong to say that, because <clears throat> it is wrong, and he did it. So fuck him. Um, yeah, I mean, what else can I say about the situation? And it's it's just like he still made the made the dumbass little confused face even after he did it. Like. He's a little bitch boy, so I'm I'm pretty done with Theon right now. Um, yeah, so that there's that. <laughs> Jamie, um, they didn't show uh, they didn't show Cat or Caitlyn. I'm, I'm I'm gonna call her Cat. I like the name Cat for her. They didn't show Cat kill him. They showed Cat, you know, un, like um, un, un see, unsheathing her sword or Brienne's sword to Jamie. And I assume she killed him, but the thing is, I don't think uh, a character like Jamie is gonna get an off-screen death. So we still have yet to see what happens to him. He, I mean, he just killed two fucking dudes in the camp, almost escaped. So, I mean, most likely he's gonna be dead, but who knows? Who knows what's really, what's really, what's really gonna happen? You know what I'm saying? Um, what else we got going on? We got, um, I can't. Oh, fucking John got captured by the goddamn wildlings. A stupid Igret, who I think Loki wanted it, but for the most part she wanted to, you know, use her womanly seduction techniques to, you know, to get him to lower his guard, which he kind of did, and well, now John is captured. So, uh, hopefully the wildlings aren't as uh, savage as they say. Um, Igret honestly seems kind of cool, she just seems like, she just seems like a more unfiltered version of the people south of the wall. You know, from what I learned of the wildlings, um, every wildling that we've met so far is pretty much the same as people in south of the wall. They just are a bit more unfiltered, um, and they're, I, I guess they're called wildlings because there's, they're a little bit more wild, but not that much wild. So, uh, let's see what happens to John. Hopefully they don't kill him. He's a, he's, he's a, he's an important character, so, um, I, 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 it is unlikely he, he, they behead him, but then again, I will never forget the beheading of Ned Stark, so because of that, I know no one is safe in this show. So, that's pretty much where we are right now, so without further ado, let's go ahead and get into it, man. This is Game of Thrones Season 2, Episode 8. Like and subscribe. Let's go. Even Yara disagrees. Oh my Call god! A, cunt. a dumb cunt who killed the only two Starks in Winterfell. You know how valuable those boys were. True. The Northerners would think me weak. You are weak. And you're stupid. True. Go on then. Warn me. She's cool. I fuck with her. She's confident in the way she speaks. She knows who she is. You know what I mean? She ain't no little bitch like Theon is. And now that you've decorated your walls with the bodies <clears throat> of the Stark boys, every man in the North wants to see you hanged. When Rob Stark Damn. comes out... Damn. won't find out. We killed all the ravens. We have all the horses. I've taken Winterfell. And I will keep Winterfell. I mean, yeah, now that I think about it, he did a dumbass thing. Because the Starks are the North, right? And he killed two Stark little boys. So the North, as soon as one, one finds out, it's going to be like a fucking domino effect. And you looked up at me and you stopped screaming. You smiled at me. Don't die so far from the sea. Damn, he sucks. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck Dion sucks, dude. <laughs> Woo. He runs. I'll chop his balls off. He runs. I'll do it myself. She probably will. 
We're even now, Jon Snow. Okay. She just kind of saved him there. But then again, she's the reason why we're in this position, so... It is partly John's fault as well. He was the best man I ever met. I know children always think that about their fathers, but he truly... Children do not always think that about their fathers, believe me. He once told me that being a lord is like being a father. Except you have thousands well, of children. Now they're getting to know each other on that personal level. Rob? Rob? Careful, buddy. She is mad pretty, though. I ain't gonna cap. <laughs> Damn. He escaped in the night. How? Wait, again? How? Wait, what? Tell me this isn't true. She let him go? <gasps> Cat. Killing Jamie Lannister would not buy life for your children. But returning him to King's Landing may buy life for mine. Jamie Lannister displays you for a fool. Yeah. You weakened our position. You brought discord into our camp. And you did it all behind my back. You kind of did, Cat. I mean, look. She could have, like, talked to him about it. She acted on her own. Again. With the whole Tyrion thing. Right? Damn, Cat. You're much happier in daylight. What's your name? I'm Jamie Lannister of Castle Rock, son of Tywin. Captain Knight has a this is random, but I kind of do want to see Jamie at 100% against Brienne at 100%. Because she's. She beat Loras, and Loras is a really good swordsman. And Jamie's considered one of the best, right? So I kind of want to see this matchup, low key. I took you for a fighter, a man of pardon, woman. Of honor. Was I wrong? You're afraid. Maybe one day we'll find out, King Slayer. That armor looks really uncomfortable. Now that I think about it. I mean I guess it's made to be uncomfortable though, just so you don't die to sword slashes. Patrol. Head on my ears. <laughs> <clears throat> what we'll joy of him anyway? She does have to give him one more name. You think she's gonna say Tywin? She might. Honestly, I would I would want to see Tywin go out another way though, because I kind of like his character. Maybe she'll say um, the Mountain instead. It's the starving. Food's worth more than gold. Mm. Noble ladies sell their diamonds for a sack of potatoes. Things get bad enough. The poor start eating each other. The thieves they love a siege. Soon as the gates are sealed, they steal all the food. By the time it's all over, they're the richest men in town. Damn. Bronn's been through some shit. And if Stannis does attack the Mud Gate, what is our plan? We could throw books at his men. We don't have that many books. <laughs> we don't have that many men either. What do we have? Wildfire. Hmm. I want to see that wildfire in action, man. Sounds like a game changer. Best thing to do is pretend you've never seen it. What's in there? It's a Night's Watch cloak. It's been here a long time. What the fuck? What is that? It must be dragon glass. Dragon glass. Dragon glass. The master's called obsidian. I know obsidian from Minecraft. It's pretty strong. Hmm. Wait, the first men? Aren't the first men, like, hella old? <laughs> What? Dragon glass, huh? Looks cool. Jack and Hagar. What? No. Hagar gives the man his own name. That's fucked up, Arya. Gods are not mocked. This is no joking thing. I'm not joking. Man can go kill himself. Unname me. No. Please. Please. <laughs> <laughs> if I do this thing. A girl must obey. A girl will obey. Uh oh. She's trying to talk like him. <laughs> what the fuck? Arya is way too smart for her own good, for sure, for sure. Tywin was right. Because I have your little whore. 
Oh, shit. I thought you preferred blondes. Such a droll little fellow. Tell me, have you married this one yet? No? No. Not Shay, bro. Why do you care who I fuck? Why does Cersei think Ty Tyrion is against her? I don't think that at all. I think he's just, you know, he just thinks differently as her. Sir Mandon, bring in my brother's whore. Dude, Shay, she's about to have hella bruises on her, bro. Ooh, god damn. Wait. That's not Shay! <gasps> but he did fuck her, though. Cersei got it wrong. I'm sorry they hurt you. You must be brave. I promise, I will free you. Don't forget me. Never. He might forget her, because that's the wrong one. <laughs> oh, shit! Wait, Cersei got it wrong. And the Tyrion double acting. See, the actor is acting right now as the actor. Ooh, fire. We have to be more careful. Don't be afraid. I can take care of myself. There are people who want to hurt me. I know. I won't let them. I'll cut off their faces. I will. Damn. That's hot. <laughs> That's what's up, man. She, She's down. I'm yours. And you're mine. Nice. My guy Tyrion. Found a nice one. Congrats, my brother. That's what's up. Damn. How did Cersei get the wrong one, though? I'd, I'd imagine she's more... I don't know... Precise than that, I guess? That was a deep story. I'm sorry, Your Grace. You told me of your problems, and... I blathered on... I don't on. want to marry the Frey girl. <gasps> I don't want you to marry her. Oh? No, but yes, but no, but yes! Again? I, I, you, you can't blame him. I mean, look at her. Oh, look at her. What's she doing? Damn. Um, so, we don't know much about, um, that Frey guy, right? Uh, but just from meeting him that damn, oh my god. <laughs> just from that meeting him that one time, though, I doubt he's gonna like one of his daughters getting, like, cheated on. Right? Or replaced. So, let's see what Rob does with this man. I can't blame him, bro. She a looker. She look good. And she got a body yaddy. <laughs> Damn. It's like a- it's like a- it's like one of those bittersweet moments. Where you're cheering for him like, Yeah, you got the girl, but... Uh, you know what I mean? Maybe nothing's gonna happen. Maybe he's just gonna be like, Ah, fucking... Bitch little stock, and then he'll just cut off his loyalty there, but you know. We'll see. Oh he dead. He dead dead. He dead too. Oh dude, what the fuck? I need to know more about this Jack and Hagar guy. He is legit. For real. He's killing dudes left and right like no effort. Iron needs to keep him around, low key. Because Robert was my older brother and he was the king, and I've always done my duty. But now I'm the rightful king by every law of Westeros. And when I sit the Iron Throne, you'll be my hand. Nice. Your Grace. I agree. I'll pray us if you will. Damn. Honestly, Stannis. Hey, he's got a, he's got a fleet. He's got a big army. And he seems to have a good mind for leadership. Oh, he's pulling ahead right now. Shit. I mean, let's see if King's Landing can hold. Honestly, it's looking good for Stannis. Like, if I were to, you know... It's really about the wildfire. We haven't seen it in action, so... That's gonna be the game changer there. But, on paper, Stannis is winning this. I wish we could converse as two honest, intelligent men. I wish we could, too. <laughs> what do you want? Tell me. If we're going to play, you'll have to start. Ah, the dialogue. Let's go. 
I love this shit. His enemies alive to honor the Lord of Light. The Lord of Light wants his enemies burnt. The drowned god wants them drowned. Why are all the gods such vicious cunts? <laughs> True. Where is the god of tits and wine? <laughs> In the summer hours, they worship a fertility goddess with 16 teats. You should sail there immediately. <laughs> the girl at the edge of the world is the least of our problems. She has three dragons. But even if what they say is true, it'll be years before they are fully grown. Okay. And then there'll be nowhere to hide. One game at a time. Love the dialogue between Tyrion, Varys, and or Baelish. Every time. Love it. So good. Until my last breath, I will remember. After I have forgotten my mother's face. They are my children. And they are the only children I will ever have. Hmm. What does that mean? Ever since that whole fucked up witch situation, she can't have children anymore? Like, regular? Also, so, the thing about Jorah... Um, obviously, the first thing that comes to my mind is the word simp, but the way he does it, though, so strong, I feel like I'm being disrespectful to him when I when I say he's simping, you know? What he's doing to me isn't simping. He's just a fucking strong-ass dude trying to protect his queen, you know what I'm saying? Like, simping is much more soy than that, in my opinion, so, yeah, I like Jorah. Wait, so... Bran and Rickon? Bran would blame himself. They'll never hear it from me. Mm. The little lads have suffered enough. Goosebumps. They're alive. Also, I'm pretty sure Bran just heard that. Whoa, 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 whoa. Uh... <laughs> Yo, <laughs> this show has like the best cliffhangers, <laughs> by the way. They're a lie. Okay. But Theon's still a bitch though. That means he grabbed two random farmer boys, just like the maester said, and burned them and killed them. That's still fucked up, right? Um, and that was just to, to not make himself, to save face. I feel like... There, I feel like the, mostly the reason why I hate Theon so much is every 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 single one of his actions are to save face. Like, who cares, dude? You know? Fuck face. <laughs> like, yeah, he cares way too much about what others think of, him, think of him. It's okay caring about what others think of you, but to an extent. Not like to control your whole life, you know? And that's what he's doing. And that's why I fucking hate him so much. Because his actions are awful. And they're, they're, they're mostly decided by what the others think of him. Not because of what's up here. You know what I mean? He's not driven by his fucking own thoughts. So that's probably the reason why I hate him so much. Um, and it's, it's just it's just disgusting. But uh, hey, at least Brandon Rick on our life. That's like a huge relief. You know what I mean? Okay, good. Very good. Um, still though, he, I mean, he killed two farmer boys, so that's fucked up. Also, very smart, still hiding in Winterfell, right? right? That is very smart. Um, cause I mean, shit, with, with, with Hodor, with Bran's broken leg, or par with paralyzed leg, they're probably not gonna go as far as the hounds are gonna find them, so staying here, being hidden from the hounds so they can't scent, so they can't, uh, you know, smell them, that's smart. Just how long they can they do it for, though? They kind of have to wait for, you know, Theon's crew to, like, ride out for a quick mission. Um, which, honestly, not, might not be too far off, so... Good stuff. Good stuff. Shout out to the Wildling Girl for keeping Brandon Rick on alive, too. She's, uh, she's doing work right now. She's doing work. Alright, so, um, what else happened in the episode? Uh, again, dude, every time Tyrion, Varys, Varys, Baelish, Baelish, Tyrion, anytime, you know, they have interactions with each other, it's always, it's always just gold. It's always gold, because I know I'm about to get the best dialogue. And uh, that's what we got when Tyrion and Varys uh, were talking to each other. Dude, that's oh, so good. <laughs> Damn. Honestly, like, so, uh, obviously, the, there are highlights in the show, like, the fucking gore, the beheading, 
um, uh, you know, the, uh, the, the very uh, beautiful woman getting naked, stuff like that. And I love all those things, don't get me wrong. But the dialogue, uh, like to me, I think that stands out the most because Again, uh, I don't. I haven't really watched American or any TV shows. Like the, the the TV shows that I'm most used to are TV shows related to The Office, like comedies, right? Um, so when I, so I'm not used to this dialogue. This dialogue is actually amazing. You know, it's like the banter, the wit, uh, the wit. It's just it's great, and I fucking love it. You know what I'm saying? So nice. Um, what what, do get, what we got going on? I think uh, Igret Igret uh, is feeling uh, a little sympathy for John. I'd say still though she's she, she's still a wildling. She's still on the wildling side, but she did kind of save John's life a little bit there, even though it was her fault uh, that we ended up here. So there's that. Also, Sam found some dragon glass. Dragon glass is look. It looks to be jet black. That's kind of cool. Um, and I mean just. It sounds badass. Dragon glass sounds like it can cut through anything. Maybe it's even better than Valyrian steel, right? The sword that John has. So that's very interesting. Also, he said the first men buried that there. So that means dragon glass existed way long ago. Um, and yeah, so I mean, shit, we could take that back to. Can we harvest more? If we could take that back to the Night's Watch, make weapons out of it. Holy shit, bro. That's that's fucking sick. You know what I'm saying? Um, Jack and Hagar. That's his name. Who is this man? <laughs> like, after seeing how good... Like, this episode confirmed that he is a legit top-notch assassin. He's taking out dudes left and right. And not, not only that, he's making them look like they're not even dead. Like, he was just hanging them like this, like, like they were on duty. On some, like, you know, fucking Assassin's Creed shit. So now, like, I kind of want to know his backstory. Why? Where did... I thought this guy was a random side character that I'd, I'd never see again. <laughs> right? The first time we saw him in that little uh, carriage. But now, I'm just so interested in him. What? What is he? He's very cool. Um, we got Brienne, I guess, escorting Jamie to King's Landing. That is an uh, interesting duo. <laughs> to say the least. If anything, uh, low-key, I do want to see uh, Jamie at 100%, Brienne at 100%, both with Valyrian steel swords, and I want to see them go at it. Just because as a viewer, knowing Jamie is one of the skilled swordsmen in the world, really, and Brienne uh, seems to be very skilled as well, I kind of want to see them battle. Of course, we're probably not going to see that, but I can hope, you know what I'm saying? Uh, and the last thing I do want to talk about is <sighs> Rob and Talisa who I think is the most beautiful girl in the show. She also got a body yaddy. Oh my god. Um, but, dude. It's like, that was a bittersweet moment for me because, you know, in, in, in one side of my mind, I, I, I'm thinking, good shit, my man. You feel me? And on the other side, I'm thinking, what is the Frey guy gonna think? You know? He strikes me as the kind of guy that is not gonna take that situation lightly. We met him once, but we met him once th th uh, enough. We heard him speak, we heard his demeanors, you know, we saw what kind of guy he was. And it doesn't seem, I, 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 so one of two things, the, the way I see this happening, he's gonna get pissed and he's gonna do something to rob, like throw him in prison or whatever. Um, two, he might just not give a fuck. Cause he strikes me as that too. He might just not give a fuck and he's like, ah, fuck it. Uh, I just won't, you know, um, fuck with you Starks anymore. Leave my land, right? That could also happen. Um, and honestly, that, that's most likely going to happen. Um, but, uh, you know, there is a little bit of drama there. You know what I'm saying? So, uh, I mean, if I was a father, no matter how fucked up of a father I am, I would not want my one of my daughters to be two-timed. You know what I mean? So, again, it's, it's I, I do not blame Rob. Obviously, she looked good. She looked good and she seems like a, a pretty decent person too, right? Um, so... Hey, Rob, go get it, but uh, be careful, buddy, <laughs> right? Cool. So, that is about it. <sighs> I just feel like I haven't watched a bad episode. Every single episode so far Game of Thrones has been good. Has been at least a 7 out of 10, right? That's really hard to do in hour-long episodes so far. I've watched like 18 episodes. That's very hard to do. So, 
I don't know. I'm just I'm just enjoying myself very much. I'm super glad I got into this. And uh, man, I just can't wait to see who sits on the throne at the end. Do I want to make a prediction? Not really. Also, we're only in season two. I imagine in the so I so I, I'm aware there are eight seasons. I imagine there's going to be more characters introduced that might be you know throne worthy. Right now we got Daenerys. S Stannis is looking pretty good. We got Daenerys, Stannis. Uh, honestly, Tyrion is looking good for the Lannisters. Tywin doesn't want the, doesn't want the throne. He wants to retire, right? So, uh, I think Tyrion might might be able to get the throne too with Baelish and uh, Varys at his side on his council. Ooh, that's fire! Um, yeah, I could see those three uh, controlling the throne right now. Um, but it is early in the show, so maybe I'll wait maybe until we're halfway into the show before I make a prediction on who I think is going to land on the throne. You know what I'm saying? But those three are definitely looking pretty strong right now. Um, Daenerys, if she gets her dragons back, that is. So anyway, that's going to be it for this reaction, guys. Um, before I end the video, though, make sure you guys look at the links down below in the description. Uh, there you can find my Twitch channel where I live stream, my second YouTube channel where I put highlights on my Twitch channel, uh, my Patreon, where I'm 10 episodes ahead on everything that I'm watching, with the full reactions available, of course. Uh, my Discord, come on in and join the community, and of course, my Twitter, everything at Wolf Reacts. With that being said, I'm out of here. Y'all have a good one, and I will see you guys in the next Game of Thrones episode, alright? Peace.